rolled into tin cup a little while after cresting Cumberland Pass. After relaxing for a bit, we continued on past Mirror Lake and up to Tin Cup Pass. The three mile drive from Tin Cup to Mirror Lake follows East Willow Creek through the Gunnison National Forest. Come over tin cup? I uh, know. I'm going up later. Okay, we were just curious if you knew what the road conditions were going uh, up. I've come over. down it a couple weeks ago. Um, it's gotten rougher, but uh, you'll have fun. Sounds good. All right, <laughs> thanks. He came down it a couple weeks ago and it's gotten rougher, and he basically said, You'll have fun. Get that, Bruce? Thank you. This is a gorgeous lake.
going to do a water crossing, about six inches. Okay, a great spot for a photograph before we leave the lake. Uh, see if these guys are going to be here very long. Or does anybody else want to photograph? My camera's here for that. having a wedding here so uh, they don't want us around Oh, he's pulling over. He stopped up here with a couple others. Bruce, uh, we staying here for a minute. I'm going to have to roll back. I still can't get in there before low. Okay, oh, no problem, but I do have to reinflate. I'm kind of worried about scraping the sidewall on this sharp rock. And we're stopping here for a minute. And we're rolling again. Do 
still working our way up Tin Cup Pass. The four mile trip from the lake to the pass was slow going due to all the embedded rock in the road. Beautiful colors in the valley. I'm <laughs> really loving the yellows, oranges, browns. We've got a side by side coming up behind me. A copy side by side coming up behind uh, Larry. He's just hanging back there. It doesn't look like he's in any hurry.
that was a rough spot. Man, those yellow and oranges. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that.
Bruce, there's plenty of room here. Come on around me. I'm sorry to press you. I, I just, uh, I didn't need to get in front of you. Oh, you go ahead. You sure? Yeah. I'm sorry. You've been idling. Go ahead, uh, Tino and Larry. I want to pull up the tail. Why, well, Prince, you've been quiet. What's wrong? Well, you guys are going faster than I can go, and so that way you can enjoy the view at the top. I've seen it many times, and then I'll catch up to you, you know, in places like that. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. You seem to have plenty of clearance. I've been watching them. I have not seen you close to hit anything. Yeah, but go ahead. It's okay. We can't go much faster than you, Larry. Really? Hey, come on up here, Frenchie. We will slow down. Oh, no, no. You guys, no. Seriously, I just, that way I can go at a comfortable speed for this vehicle. I've got to go around a lot of rocks and stuff like that and pick my trail out uh, a little more precisely. Okay, hold on guys, I gotta check the BDR, there's two uh, ways to go here. You wanna stay to the right, that's the old Tin Cup Road. It, um, it is really, really rough. Okay, but I'm turning right, is that what you're suggesting? Yes, stay right. You got some big rocks, you gotta put your tires on with the B in the middle and everything. You're talking about the going left, right, Frenchie? Yeah, that's correct. That's the, the old Tim Cup Road. The new one is round to the right side of the valley. The other one went down a bit more. Got it. That seems to be smoother. Thanks for waiting. Hey, 
between guys. And you guys in the middle of the dust devil. I got your video. Thank you. Boy, they're beautiful. But I need to pay attention to the road. I think you can see the top of the pass over there to the uh, about uh, nine o'clock. Are going to stop at the top of the pass for lunch or somewhere else? Top of the pass has a nice little parking lot for us. I'm going to stop here. I'll catch up with you guys. Copy that. Well, we're only doing half a mile an hour, so it shouldn't take too long.
Where did that vehicle go? There it is. Nothing like a traffic jam in the middle of nowhere. And the wind's picking up. Burn Mountain is directly ahead of us. I'm going to wait here, let this uh, white vehicle come by. Copy that. You're 15 minutes early today, Miner. The 
mountain to the right might be Fitzpatrick Peak. Okay, I'm happy to report that I'm on smooth road. There's no big rocks. Frenchy, I want to let you know that some of the uh, water diversion uh, dams, for lack of a better term, are a little narrow at the top. I've bottomed out a couple times. M4. Very short in your wheelbase so you don't get high centered in the middle. Come up and try to take them at about a 30 40 degree angle, you'll not go straight across. You want to go at an angle? Yeah, I figured that out after I hit twice. I see bars here for you. Yeah. Side by side is waiting for us. He's by himself. His girlfriend is leading out to the left. <laughs> There's two more behind me. I'm solo. Okay, thanks. Yep. And generally, the uphill side of the water, uh, water bar is smoother than the downhill side to try to get the road, find the water to burn it off the road. So they'll help you from the screen. Okay. Uh, it's a little rough spot. There's a go-around on the right side if you want. Oh, man. I think we'll go this way. It wasn't that rough, though. Another side-by-side -side coming at me. Copy that. I got two more. Okay. Everybody doing okay back there? We got a jeep coming at us. Yeah. Okay, 
Man, it's gorgeous up here. I know I keep saying that, but it's just incredibly beautiful. And a cattle guard on top of a mountain. I love it. <laughs> Ten Cup Pass is about 12,153 feet. going to move out of the way. Welcome to join us next time as we work our way down Tin Cup Pass on our way to St. Elmo.